and welcome to the Actor for Life online studio. Today we are going to be doing a core mobility power flow. So we're going to be working on moving through all of the joints from our shoulders to our spine to our hips, as well as working on bringing a little strength to the muscles around those joints. So this program is part of the posture training plan. If you want to check that out, it's coming in February. It'll be in the training plans in the menu above. Um, and of course, at any time, if you ever have any questions or comments about any of these workouts, you can come find me in the Facebook group um, by visiting the community page above. So let's get into today's workout. We're doing some core mobility, so I want you to find yourself in a comfortable sitting position somewhere. Um, you can be sitting on your mat, on your uh, on your knees, cross-legged, whatever feels comfortable for you. I've got a little bit of a padding up underneath my bum here to bring my sit bones a little bit more comfort. Do whatever makes this feel comfortable for you. Exercise is not supposed to, like it's not supposed to hurt. It's not supposed to be uncomfortable. Put some padding up under there if that is what feels good. Okay, so we're gonna start sitting however it's comfortable. We're gonna start with taking some big deep breaths, filling in through the lungs, stretching out the muscles through our chest. So bringing that breath deep into the chest and exhaling out. Again, stretching out. as much as possible, 
looking up if it feels comfortable. If you need to bring your hand down, you can bring it onto your hip. Try to just pull the shoulder blades back. And then bring it back under, tucking it under that opposite arm. We're gonna lay right down on top of it. You can take that other arm and stretch it up. Breathe in deep, letting it stretch through your spine as you're pushing your hips up. And then come out of it, stretching yourself up. You can tuck that leg back again if it makes it more comfortable, brings it more open. And back down. And then to the other side, we're going to tuck that foot back and reach up. Breathing here, holding your arm up or to your side if it's more comfortable. And bringing it down, tucking it under as you exhale. Shoulder the mat, you can stretch out that upper arm. And coming back up to tabletop. Alright, now we're going to do a little bit of strength and mobility here. So like you would if you had a weight, but without a weight, you're just going to bring one arm up and down. Just engaging those muscles nice and slow. You're not dropping your hand, you're bringing down nice and slowly. A few more. And bring it back down. Switching sides, lifting the other one up, shoulder height, and down the floor. Keep breathing, keep that core tight. Holding yourself on balance, also engaging all the muscles through your spine, through your abs. Keep your head straight, lift down. A couple more. And let it relax. Bet you felt that a little bit after a while. Um, all right, stretching out, go into child's pose. Really extend through those arms. We're gonna do a little flow here. So we're gonna go from child's pose. We're gonna come up. And as much as is comfortable for you, press forward, bending in, stretching through the wrists, and back. Find that position for your hips that feels comfortable for you. So whether that's knees wide or knees together. Just coming back and forth, mobilizing through the wrists, through the shoulders, through the hips, through the knees. Few more. And rest. All right, really take a moment to stretch out here. So next, we are going to come up into downward dog. So you're going to come up into tabletop, tuck the toes, engage the knees, and push the bum up. Stretch it. If you can push those heels down to the ground, give yourself a moment. And we're going to do some downward dogs to plank. So we can do down dog to plank and back up. If that is not comfortable for you, you can go from knees, stretch it forward a little bit more, plank and up. All right, so grab your downward dog, pushing forward as you exhale, inhale, you come up. Down. 
one more, stretch it high, come down and step one of those feet forward. If you need to like take a couple steps, whatever works for you. Line that back underneath your knee again. We're gonna take a moment here and drop down nice and slow. Place your hand on the inside of your planted foot and twist open. If you need, like me, I have short arms, whatever else, you can go ahead and grab a block or a pillow or something. Hold yourself up a little bit better. Give yourself a firm planting and twist open. Again, you can bring your hand down to your side if that's more comfortable. And come back down, hand to the ground. You can move that walk to the side, step that foot back and push it up. Bend that knee there a little bit, give a little stretch. Move that knee around and bring it back in. All right, we're gonna push up into downward dog again. Stretch it up. Roll it forward to plank. Step that other foot up. Takes a couple steps, whatever, whatever makes it work. Find your position here. You rock that back knee. You need to go ahead and grab your block. And twist up, opening your chest. Breathing in deep. And coming back down. Tuck that block out of the way. Lift your knee. Step your opposite foot back. And press up again into down dog. Or if you need, down into child's pose. Everyone feels more comfortable for you. And roll it forward. Tuck that opposite knee up. This time we're going to keep that back knee up. You're going to find a position where your feet are wide enough. Hold you stable. Engage the thighs to keep you steady as you lift your upper body. Engaging the muscles through the back. Pull you up into standing. And then you're going to lift arms up overhead or to heart center, whatever feels more comfortable for you. Give a little gentle lean back. Pushing that front knee forward, you're going to feel the burn through the thighs here. We're holding and we're stretching and we're breathing and we're feeling the power through the muscles. Giving us the mobility and the strength to do what we need to our day. And then you're going to bring yourself forward, forward folding, arms back down to the ground. Tuck that foot back, up into downward dog, and stretch, or down into child's pose, and rest if you need. And coming back up, rolling into a plank, stepping that opposite foot forward. Take a couple steps if you need. Take a second here while your hands are still planted down to make sure that your feet are wide enough to give you a bit of stability. And you're gonna press up through that front foot, engaging the muscles to the back of the core, keep you stable, pressing your thighs together. Standing up nice and tall, reaching up, pressing that front foot forward. Hands can be down at heart center too. Feeling the power through the muscles. And breathe. And slowly forward fold. Placing your hands down and 
stepping that back foot forward into a forward fold. And coming up nice and slow. All right, we're gonna take a moment, walk it out here if you need some water, whatever you need. Maybe you built up a bit of heat there in your muscles. All right. So as you can see, I turned around so my mat is long again in front of me. I'm gonna breathe in deep, arms up, forward fold, come back down. Plant your hands and walk them forward. Back into the downward dog. Roll it forward. We're gonna hold our plank here for a moment. In. If you need to drop those knees, go ahead. If you need to drop down to your forearms, or forearms and knees, whatever feels most comfortable for you. Holding that plank, breathing in and out. And then slowly you're going to roll to the side, stacking your hips. You're going to put your knees down, knees on top of each other, and we're going to do a big stretch up and over, pushing your hip up to the ceiling, arm up overhead, and back down, and let the hip drop to the ground here. Take a moment, give your hand a rest, and then pushing back up, rolling it back down into your regular plank. Take a moment, you can push your plank up, down, whatever you need. And then rolling slowly on the opposite side. Knees or ankles, hips stacked, arm up and over, pushing your hip to the ceiling. Go down to your forearms as well as you need. And then slowly coming back down and pushing back into a downward dog. Or sorry, into a child's pose. Take a little moment to rest here, stretch out your wrists. touch them down. You can go between whatever works for you. Try to hold your balanced position, making sure that your shoulders are nice and open. You shouldn't be hunching forward. And we're holding. And then in our last bit, we are going to drop it down all the way. Head to mat. Stretch your arms up toes out, big good morning stretch, really maybe suck it in and push it out, move your stomach muscles around, and exhale out, and when you're ready, come sitting or heck, stealing, whatever feels better for you. 
Um, that is the end of our workout for today. That's our core mobility power flow. I hope you enjoyed it. This workout, again, is part of the posture correcting training plan, which you can find up in the training plan section at Active Life Online. Um, so go ahead and check that out. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can come and find me in the Facebook group. Just visit the community page. Talk to you guys soon. I will see you at the next workout. Bye, everyone.